Hello, Padre. I wouldn't expect to find a man of the cloth in a place like this. Former man of the cloth. I am Father Dennis, or at least I was. I was defrocked for using my pulpit to speak out against the crimes of the Nazis. The church cowers in silence. But I could not turn a blind eye to the evil I have witnessed. Cheers to you, Padre. Your reward waits in heaven, whether you show up wearing that collar or not. Is there anything I can do to help? Perhaps. I am no longer an ordained priest. But many people still come to see me, that I might hear their confessions. One such man is a paid informant for the Gestapo. His accusations have condemned hundreds of innocents to torture and death at the hands of the Nazis. And this miserable bastard still has the nerve to go to confession? He comes to me every week to ask forgiveness for his sins. I'm afraid I have none left to give. Where can I find this bastard? Later, I will be holding a service outside my former church. There is a ledge on the roof from which you will have an excellent view of the congregation. When this man approaches me to receive my blessing, I will give you a signal. What would you like me to do then, Father? <laughs> Isn't it obvious, my son? In the name of all that is holy, blow his fucking head off. What? You are alive. May he grant forgiveness. And to all who have died, a place of life and peace. What you are alive, may you be granted forgiveness. And to all who have died, a place of life and peace. And let the sinners among us repent, or face the terrible sword of vengeance. Hope he's reading you, your last rites, fucker. You saved many lives by killing that informant, Sean. The people of my flock are grateful for your help. A man who would sell his neighbors to the Gestapo deserves a hole in his head. A year ago, I might have disagreed with you. But these old eyes of mine have seen too much. What's next, father? I spoke with the Gestapo officer who recruited the man you killed. What? Why? I told him I had information about certain uh, undesirables hiding in my neighborhood. A list of names and hiding places. I offered to bring it to his office. But you plan to deliver another sort of present instead, don't you, father? Indeed I do. I hear you used to drive cars for a living. Aye. And fix them too. I need a wheel man. Someone who knows these streets and isn't afraid to face the Nazis on their own terms. Then you've come to the right place, Father. I'm in. You're worried they won't let you in the place. These Gestapo officers think I'm a joke. An old wine old priest peddling secrets for liquor money. They probably won't even bother searching my bag. Either way, I will see them in hell. You're a tough old bastard, Father. I'll give you that. Thank you, my son. Your business. I am here to deliver the list of fugitives your commander requested. <laughs> I think you had better say a few Hail Marys, priest. Go on in. Wait for me here. This won't take long. Good luck, father. Drive, Sean! Drive like the devil! Hang on, father. I sense that a great pain weighs on your heart, Sean. I want you to know I am here for you. Would you like me to hear your confession? No, thank you, father. My pain isn't a burden that needs to be lifted. It's the fire that keeps me warm. My son. We can no longer sit idly by while the devil walks the streets of our city. Let us speak of the Lord's justice. Father Dennis. Sean, 
I'm glad you came. What's happened, Padre? The Gestapo officer I was supposed to meet with wasn't inside the office when the bomb went off. He escaped the blast. Does he know you delivered the bomb? No. The fool never suspected that this doddering old priest might have a hand in the attack. He's so sure of my innocence that he asked me to officiate at his wedding. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus Christ. Uh, excuse me, Father, but what woman would marry a man like that? A French girl, barely more than a child. He threatened to have her family deported if she didn't accept his proposal. Not exactly true love, then. We will be doing the bride and her family a favor. How's that? We are going to kill the groom, along with his groomsmen. At a wedding? Doesn't that seem a tad sacrilegious? Ah, the Lord moves in mysterious ways, my son. What do you say? Amen, Father. <laughs> Shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. If any man should object to this... Meine Beute hat sich versteckt! Ah, yes. If any man should object to this union, speak now! Great fucking time, eh? Go now, my son! The Lord will be my shield, but he expects you to save your own ass! <laughs> 